It is the one place in the city where Germans don't dare to tread. Even the Nazis fear to walk among the dead. Christ, don't tell me it's another cemetery. I'm starting to get superstitious. <laughs> the oldest graveyard in the city, and a haven for fugitives since Roman times. We will be safe there. Excellent. There's no delay. We have much to discuss. seem on the prowl hereabouts. Devlin. Well, Mr. Devlin, you're a resourceful man. Stick around after the meeting. I may have some work for you. Ah, there's Sean. Let's get started. By now, most of you have seen these posted around the city. Our German overseers have devised a grand spectacle to convince us of their Aryan superiority. A race to be held here, in Paris, and broadcast to every corner of occupied Europe. Several high-ranking Nazi officials will be in attendance, including General Eckhart. My comrades, this is the moment we have waited for. We will seize this opportunity to strike a blow that will shake the very foundations as the Third Reich. The crowd brass will be heavily guarded. You'll never get close to them. You're right, Sean. We can't get close, but you can. What the fuck are you talking about? After the race, there will be an award ceremony at the base of the Eiffel Tower. During the ceremony, General Eckhart will present the winning driver with an iron cross. That is when we will strike. How are you gonna get past the security? I won't have to, Sean. You are going to win the race. I don't even have a proper car. How am I supposed to win a race? Speak to Vittore. He has some good news to share with you. And Sean. You may be interested to know that the Germans are placing bets on the winning driver. At last count, the odds were 5 to 1, in favor of Kurt Dierker. Just 
strange things here. Ah, Devlin. Welcome to the Underworld. What do you think of all this? It's a hell of an operation you got here. I could see you command the respect of these people. Respect may be, but loyalty is harder to come by. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I have a... problem that needs fixing. Does this problem have a name? We, oui. Francine. She was to be my wife. You got a problem with your lady friend? Talk to the barman. I don't deal with ex-girlfriends. Allow me to explain. Before the occupation, I was a foreman in a motorcycle factory. The Nazis ordered the factory converted to manufacture weapons for the German military. Some of the men refused to obey the order. Those men ended up down here. Where does Francine come into this? I kept a list of informants. Working men who risked their lives to pass us information on German war production. Francine stole it. She sold us out to the Germans. Why? I heard whispers about Francine and a German. She was fucking him behind my back. What else does she know? Enough to get us all killed. That bitch could never keep her legs shut or her mouth. I'll take care of it. One more thing, Devlin. Francine wears a locket. It was a gift from me. I want it back. I'll see what I can do. Francine is a singer. She's performing at an outdoor concert not far from here. I want this business finished tonight. Looking for a new car, monsieur?
Commandant Dirke reminds his citizens to conserve fuel oil. A chilly home saves German lives. Halt! Sperrgerät! Gehen Sie woanders lang! Keine Bewegung! Porter. Goodness. Was um alles in der Welt ist das? Und? Halt! Genau da! Irgendwas stimmt hier nicht. Halt! Sperrgebiet! Gehen Sie woanders lang! <lacht> 